pressures on the chest? Why are we pushing on the chest? What is the chest not? What is the heart not doing that we have to do for the heart? We were pumping the heart so the heart can pump blood. Okay, so during CPR, that's what we're doing. So during CPR, we compress. Compress is a fancy word for push. That's all that means. We're pushing on the chest because the heart wasn't pumping. We do CPR because the heart is not pumping. Okay, so that's why we're doing CPR, because the heart's not pumping. So we're manually pushing on the heart to push the blood out of the heart to feed the body. Okay? So you got your main points down. This is like, this is stuff you guys definitely have to know. Okay? It's just like foundational stuff. Pulmonary, lungs, cardiac, heart. Know the basics of CPR, like what you're doing and why you're doing it, right? Um, you have to know that anatomy just means organs, individual organs, lungs, heart, liver, that's anatomy. Physiology is how all those organs work together. You have to know this is like very foundational, very basic stuff, all right, to like, to progress in anything. And like I said, even if you want to be a firefighter, EMTs have to know this stuff, at least enough to have a conversation. You don't have to know it intimately, but you have to know, have, know enough to, at least know that cardiac means heart, enough that pulmonary means lungs. Okay, just the basic stuff. So when someone's talking about it, you guys can have a conversation. Okay, I'm gonna go over cardiac anatomy and physiology. I don't think I left this on. <sighs> So I'm going over cardiac anatomy. So this right here is gonna be both cardiac anatomy and physiology. So cardiac anatomy. Should we draw that diagram? Yep. And physiology. Okay. One more time, Eduardo, what does physiology mean? Uh, what does physiology mean? How the organs work together. Okay, so this is an action, right? So you could even put physiology means function. Function or work, okay? Just to make you, help you remember it better. Okay, now what does anatomy mean? The organs, right? Or parts. Organs or parts. So I would put parts or organs because we can also be talking about parts of an organ. That's also anatomy, the parts that make the organ. Okay? And cardiac. Cardiac means heart. So what we're talking about today are how the heart works, the parts of the heart, and cardiac means heart. So cardiac anatomy and physiology the heart, the parts of the heart, and how the heart works. That's all that means, okay? Heart, any questions so far? Okay, I think I'm breaking it down good enough. Okay, you catching on? All right. Okay, so the first thing we're talking about, draw the heart, and then do this. Draw the heart, like how I have it here, and then draw four, draw two lines going across the heart, and then draw two lines. One going up and down, one going horizontal to the side. The heart is made up of four parts. The heart itself is made up of four parts. Okay? It's like, it's like a, it has four rooms, like a, like a four bedroom house. Think of it like that. It's a four bedroom house. Okay? Your top rooms, the top rooms are smaller than the bottom rooms. And the top rooms have names. The bottom rooms have names too. The top rooms are called atriums. So I will write atrium next to each one of them. They're the atriums, okay? The atriums are the top rooms, atriums. A-T-R-I-U-M, atrium. They're like the attics, Mark. Like the attics, you think of it like that, okay? The bottom rooms are bigger. So I would write that down too. The bottom rooms are bigger. 
top rooms are smaller. So the atriums are smaller than the ventricles. That's also important. The bottom rooms, like I said right now, are the ventricles. So I'll write that down. So here, V-E-N-T-R-I-C-L-E-S. Ventricles, or ventricle without the S. Ventricle means one. So you have this ventricle and you have this ventricle. One on each side, ventricle. Okay, let's see if you guys can remember. When talking about something or a side of the pa or a side of something, is it gonna be your side or the patient's side? Yeah. Like, let's say for example, Charles got stabbed in his left shoulder. Let's say she's a doctor and I'm transferring care of my patient to my doctor. How am I gonna tell her or the injuries out. How am I gonna say it's at a work? It's on the patient side. So one thing that is super important, just like these little terms are, like you you absolutely have to know them, is what I'm gonna say next. When talking about an injury or an illness, like an infection or anything, on a patient or even on a diagram in a book, it's always opposite to your side. And the reason is because we're talking about a patient. So if he got stabbed in his, in his left shoulder, which is my right side, I'm always gonna say the injuries on the left. Or if he got burned on his left shoulder, I'm gonna say the injuries on the left because it's his left, it's the patient's because side. The one that got hurt, right? Yes, so that's super important. So what I mean by that is that anytime you see a heart, even on the textbook, when you open it like this, the sides are gonna be opposite because you're looking at the patient. So like, perfect. So this right here, even though it would be your left side, we're still gonna say right side. So that's one thing you might have to like, you know, you might have issues with, a lot of people do, but just remember that it's always the opposite side because we're talking about the patient side. So even when you're looking at a diagram on a book, it's always gonna be backwards because we're looking at the patient as, as if we're looking at somebody and we're talking about their side on the textbook for anatomy, okay? So with that being said, even though this would be your right side, it is the left atrium because it's the patient's, this would be the patient's heart, but their left, because it's on their left hand side, that makes sense? Okay? This is the right atrium because it's on the patient's right hand side, okay? So it's always gonna be opposite when we're talking about something on a textbook or on a patient in real life. Any questions about that? Okay, cool. So, that being said, what are the bottom two rooms called? The ventricles. Ventricles. So this would be the left ventricle. So put left ventricle. This would be the right ventricle. Right opposite to your side. Okay. That being said, so now we know the anatomy, so I'm gonna say one more time. The top rooms are the atriums. Bottom rooms are the ventricles. This is your right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. Okay, so, Charles, what is this called? The right atrium. Good. What is this called, Ava? Left atrium. What is this called, Ava? What is this called, Sam? Yeah, yeah it's up here. I say, get yourself, just, just go for it. You know, you know it. Okay, good. So now let's go over how the blood moves through the heart. Okay, so now we got the anatomy. That's easy. There's four parts. Okay. So right here in the top atrium, blood gets dumped into the right atrium. Okay. So there's two big old vessels. You guys see these vessels even on my shirt? This, the blue one up here and the blue one down here. All the blood, so my heart would be here, all the blood that has been used up, that's coming from my head and my arms, pretty much, go, they, it all comes down to this vessel and it'll dump all the blood that's been used up in my head and arms into the right atrium. You guys see the bottom one here? 
this one, all the blood that's been used up by my legs, my stomach, and my chest, all come into this one, and they both meet. Okay, so two vessels, see these two fat vessels in brown? They meet at the right atrium, and blood gets dumped in there. And we're gonna say that is gonna be used up blood, okay? Okay, so all the blood is going to come from your head and arms from the top one and from the bottom from your legs, stomach, and chest, and they're both going to meet at the right atrium, okay? These two vessels have a name, okay? The one that's coming from the head, from the top, is called superior vena cava. It's superior because it's coming from the superior part of your body. A top, superior, means above, right? The one in the bottom that's coming from your legs, stomach, and chest, that one has the same name, vena cava, but instead of superior, it's the inferior part of the vena, the, the inferior vena cava because it's coming from the inferior part, the bottom part, okay? So again, these two have them, these two meet, and it's used up blood. So I'll write that down. Used up blood. Why is it used up? What do we use? What, is, what does the body need to stay alive? Oxygen, oxygen. good. Yeah. So all the blood that's coming to the right atrium, yeah, it, it has all, most of the, there's still a little bit of oxygen in there, but most of it's been gone, it's been used up. So I'm gonna call it used up blood. That'll make it easier for you guys, because all the oxygen is pretty much gone. You Not, used up blood? Yeah, it's used up blood. Okay. So you guys, you guys with me? Yeah. Okay, cool. So from here, all the blood is gonna go down. There's like little doors here. These are rooms, right? So there's doors in between the rooms, and we'll talk about these doors later. But this, this will fill up, and then all the blood is pushed down to your right ventricle. All right? So all the used up blood is on the right-hand side. There's like two pumps in one. It's like two pumps. All right? It's actually two pumps. So all the right, all the right side gets the used up blood that's being used up. Okay? Use a two-pump jump? Yep. If you want to say it that way, go ahead. That's whatever works for you, man. Okay. Um... So what does this blood need to pick up? What does it need? Oxygen. Oxygen, we gotta pick up oxygen, O2, okay? Because all the blood coming here has been used up, so it's coming back to pick up oxygen. Okay, so from here, what word does the O2 end up when we breathe it in? It's going into our what? The lungs. Our lungs. So if the oxygen is in the lungs, and this blood needs to pick up blood, I mean oxygen, this blood needs to pick up oxygen. Where do you think it's going after here to pick up the oxygen? To your lungs, that's around. The lungs that are around, okay? And what's a different way of saying lungs, one of you guys? Pulmonary, pulmonary. good, pulmonary. Okay, so write this down. This is your next note, if you're, if you're writing stuff down. Right ventricle, the blood from the right ventricle, blood goes to the lungs aka pulmonary to pick up the oxygen okay because it's used up blood so we need to pick up oxygen all the o2 has been used up and with the new out with the old charles yeah Okay, so everything has a name. Sam, what's a different a different way of saying lungs? So the P. Anybody over here? Anybody else? Pulmonary. Pulmonary. Okay, so where's this blood going to again? On the right hand side. The lungs, right? So because it's going to the lungs, it has to go through a vessel, through a pipe. That pipe, that vessel, that takes blood from the right side to the lungs, because it's going to the lungs, is called the pulmonary artery, 
All right, so that's the vessel that goes from the right hand side to your lungs. These are your lungs right here. These are your lungs. I mean, I just made it simple. All right, so it's gonna go, it's gonna branch off. One's going to this lung, the other one's going to this lung to pick up what? Oxygen, because we need O2, that's right. Because we breathe in the O2. So this is how the cardiopulmonary system works together. So that's the physiology. This is the physiology of cardiac and pulmonary, how those two systems work together to bring in oxygen, and then your heart and vessels and blood are gonna push it to your body. Okay, so after we pick up that oxygen, that blood is going back to your heart, but this time it's going to the left side. So that's why it's like we have two pumps. All right, so from the lungs, after we pick up the oxygen, all that blood is going back to the left side. So going to your left atrium now. So the blood that has the O2, the oxygen, the blood with oxygen, because we just picked it up at the lungs, is now going to your left side, to your left atrium. And we're about to get ready to push it back out to your body to deliver the oxygen. Does it make any sense so far? Okay. Did you guys catch up on that? First, I need you guys to understand how the heart works when it works correctly. And then from here, we're gonna go into how a heart attack happens and to how cardiac arrest happens. Because you guys already know how to help somebody in cardiac arrest, but I want you to know how we get to that point. All right? Because you guys have to know you guys are going to the course for the rest of the semester. All right, so all the oxygen on the left-hand side, because it has oxygen, I'm gonna call it good blood. So this is good blood. On the right hand side, we have used up blood. On the left hand side, we have good blood. Am I helping remember which one has oxygen and which one doesn't? All right, so all that good blood that has oxygen is gonna fill up in the atrium, left atrium, and then it gets pushed down to your what? Your left ventricle, left ventricle, okay? And again, this has oxygen because we just picked up oxygen from the lungs and that's the physiology of cardiopulmonary physiology how these two systems remember physiology just means function which means how they, how they work together like right now i'm passing this to charles pick it up good this is physiology see the anatomy is a marker in my in his hands in my hands that's the anatomy but the physiology is passing this marker together you guys see what that means okay okay so from here, now we're gonna take the, the blood to the body. Are you throwing up signs? Uh, oh, so from First here, one, game from here, I thought it was like Illuminati signs or something. This is not a game sign. I know we're talking about blood, but. All right, all right. So from here, all this blood is being pushed out to your body. So what I would say is, all the good blood pushes out of the left ventricle to the body. All right. All the good blood leaves the hood. There, there you go. Then move on. Big, bigger, better things. So this is your note from the left hand side, from the left ventricle, the left side of the heart. All the good blood, because it has oxygen, is pushed out of the left ventricle and to the body to feed it O2. All right. But to feed it, to feed, to feed the body with oxygen, O2 molecule. And that's what keeps you alive. That's one of the main things that keep you alive. Yeah. Okay. Give you guys a little bit of time. You okay? Your brain looks, looks like it's fried already. Yeah. Okay. Okay. From the left ventricle, from the left ventricle, there's a fat 